Have you ever seen a dog open their own presents? Well, you're about to. Stay tuned till the end of the video so that I can show you this awesome footage. Hello my friends and welcome to The Simple Sober Life. I am Joshua and it is now the day after Christmas. All of the presents have been gone through. We have gorged ourselves on so much food. Brian made this awesome smoked London broil last night. We had that with mac and cheese and you know, we basically ate all day. We had snacks throughout the day of cookies and tarts and cakes and and um, little smokies and cheeses. And you know, it was just a gorging fest. Um, I will definitely get into, you know, some of the things that I got for Christmas, which are very exciting. You know, it's um, gonna help me uh, move forward in my journey, which is awesome. But for now, what I am going to do is I am going to get started on my 2021 resolutions. Now, if you follow my journey, you know that, you know, I was on this health kick for quite a while. I was doing low carb meals. I dropped over 50 pounds, but in the last couple of months, I kind of slacked off on that. And especially over the past couple of weeks, you know, I have just let it go. I'm like, 2021's coming up. It'll be a new year, a new time to get a fresh start and things like that. But we still have six days left of this year. So I thought, why not get a jump start on it now so that I can start training my mind, start creating new routines, new neural pathways up in the head so that I can, you know, enter into 2021 with a good start on my goals. And that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I am going to take a small step in achieving one of my goals. And one of my goals is to be the healthiest that I've ever been in my life. Now that means nutrition, and that also means joining the gym. Now I used to be really, really into health and fitness, so much so that I was a health coach for quite a while. You know, I trained a number of different people to help them reach their health goals. But over the course of years, of the years, you know, things kind of took the forefront. They kind of took precedent. And so I need, no, I want to get back into that mindset. You know, I really want, I've made a lot of progress over the past uh, year and, you know, I just want to keep that journey going and start building on top of the foundation that I've created. Much like in sobriety, you know, we get sober and we want to build on top of that foundation. And that applies to every other aspect of our lives. You know, there's a bunch of different goals that I want to achieve in finance, in business, in relationships, in health. And, you know, it's all about taking those simple, small steps one at a time. And so I am going to take one step towards my fitness goal this year by joining a gym. Now, I live in a pr pretty rural area. There's not a lot of gyms to choose from. And with my work schedule, it creates a huge obstacle and a lot of opportunity to create excuses. So that is something that I'm going to have to battle with and something that I'm gonna have to overcome every single day. If I'm not at least going to the gym, I need to at least do something, you know? I have Amazon Prime, so there's a lot of workouts on there. I love doing some of the yoga stuff on there. Um, I've got resistance bands, but there is some incentive. I have created a challenge for a couple of guys up at work to help us um, move forward in our uh, physical health goals. So the challenge is there is five guys involved and each guy uh, put in a hundred dollars. 
And so we're gonna have a first, second, and third place prize. Um, if I remember correctly, the first place gets 60% uh, of the pot, second place gets like 35, and wait, maybe 25. 25% and then third place gets 15. So, you know, I am motivated to get uh, first place and I don't like to lose. In fact, I hate it. Now we are doing it by percentage rather than pounds lost, which, you know, kind of equals out the playing field. Uh, someone coming in with um, less weight, uh, you know, losing a pound would be a greater percentage than someone who is uh, larger and has more weight to lose. But it's easier for someone of a larger stature to lose weight quicker. So hopefully that evens things out a little bit um, and gives everyone involved motivation and positivity and, you know, um, the uh, mindset that they are able to achieve this. You know, I'm really hoping this creates a positive, competitive <laughs> uh, aspect to the work zone. Um, but that is what I'm off to do today. Um, make sure to stay till the end of the video because I've got an awesome clip of Little Faith opening presents. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It's awesome. Anyway, stay tuned and I'll see you in a bit. Gotta, it's important to read that first. Oh, what does that say, Mommy? Christmas treasure hunt. Do you want to go on a treasure hunt? And find coins or treasures or what? Who this is where this where big girls will soon sleep. All right, you want to go see what what there is? Let's go see and let's go look in your room. Follow your map. Come on. Let's go to Callie's new room. Can we go to your new room? Let's go follow your little map. Yeah, come on. I'll show you what's in here once we get there. Did you use a ruler? No. You've got a pretty good straight line. <laughs> come on, let's go, let's go on. on a treasure hunt. Let's see, okay, it says we gotta start at the Christmas tree. Where do we go from the Christmas tree? Into the kitchen and make a big circle. Okay, okay ready? Come on. Oh, okay. You gotta make Big loop, it says. Come on. Come make the make loop with me. Make a big loop. You gotta follow it. <laughs> She's doing a shortcut. Oh, okay. Shortcut. No, it says let's go through the dining room. Through the dining room. And then we'll go around the table. Yeah. No, keep going. It says we gotta go down the hallway. Towards the laundry. What is, what is that? Here. Can you see what it says? Okay, what's the next one say? The next gift you will find where little ones bake up imagination. Now there's little gifts in there. Yeah, this one. Look what this that one's got. I'm sorry. I messed up our love. There's your first treasure. Look at it. Oh man! What else you got in this one? Okay, no, no, no. We've got a credit card. And... What's a credit card? Oh. There's ten dollars on there. Ten dollars. <laughs> you got ten dollars. Now we gotta go where next, Mom? Where we bake up imagination. You want to go find where we bake imagination? Come on. I didn't see anybody hiding these. What let's happened? go find for. Let's go look for baked imagination. Woohoo! Woohoo! Mommy may have to help us with that one. Oh. <laughs> Maybe imaginary baking. 
imaginary bacon. Callie. I didn't quite get Come it. here, Callie. Callie. Where, where's the oven on here? How about imaginary ice? Come here. Come here. What's in there? Can you open all these up? Let's look. Nope, not in there. So open this door. Can you open that one? What'd you find? In the world. We gotta read it again. Here, I'll read it if you wanna hold the bag. Um, you, um, can I, you hold this bag? Yes, ma'am, I'll hold it for you. You wanna look in this bag? Please. Look in this one. Holy smokes. Let's see what this says. The next present you will find is where people get clean. Where do where do you get where do you take your baths? Where do you get clean? That's the next place we gotta go. Where your baths are. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! Where did that come from? Whoa! Yeah. You want me to read the paper? Holy kisses! Lots of kisses. You will find your next gift where donkeys graze. Oh, Callie. Can we go outside? Where do donkeys oh. graze? Where's the donkey at? Let's go outside. No, where's the donkey? Where's our donkey at? Where's our donkey that eats chips? Oh. <laughs> Callie, where's the donkey Let's eating go chips? Let's our donkey that eats chips. Say excuse I me, babe. I didn't get that one. I'm going to go outside. Let's go, donkey. <laughs> I knew exactly what you meant. We got a donkey. <laughs> Do you see it? Can you get it? Okay. Can you get the paper out? What does it say? I make a loud noise that Luna does not like, but Mommy uses me many times a day. Where am I? Okay, let's see. What does Mommy do no. every day? What does Mommy do that makes a loud noise? Can you say, can you turn that off? I'm not competing. Where is that at? You know where it's at? Let's find that. Let's find it. Oh, no, we're we're going. You're welcome. You're welcome, yeah, sweetheart. Cool. <laughs> All right, so I made it back and I took my first step towards my health goals by joining a gym. Now, I did go into Anytime Fitness um, and it was nice, it was clean. Um, they had all of the equipment that I would need, but it was very small, very cramped, very on top of each other. So I could see that, you know, if I went during a, um, a high time that there would be issues. There would be weights for the equipment and things like that. So I went just, um, around the block and there was a Planet Fitness, uh, over in Spindale. So I walked through and I've been a member of Planet Fitness before, you know, I really liked it. Uh, it was always clean, personable and things like that. And so 
I walked around, had a lot more space, again had all of the equipment that I would ever need and so I joined Platinum Fitness. Um, now North Carolina is currently under a, um, what do you call it, a um, curfew and so we uh, can't be out between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. Now normally when I used to go to the gym, I would always do it first thing in the morning. You know, I would get up, uh, have my coffee, get ready, and then go to the gym. Now, I'd have to be at work at 6 a.m. And you know, I'm up anyway, but because of the curfew, I'm not gonna be able to go to the gym before work. So, I'm gonna have to shift my mindset and you know, make it a routine to do it once I get off of work when I don't have calls uh, scheduled for immediately after. So, it's going to be a bit of a change for me. But, that on the good side, that means that I can continue on and improve upon my morning routine, which includes some mindset activities, um, I can continue with my yoga in the morning. I can continue, you know, just kind of easing into the day, which I love to do. I hate getting out of bed and, and being in a rush in any shape or form. Um, I am a morning person, but I don't like to be in a rush in the morning. So, one step closer. Today is December 26th, and we have a few days until the beginning of the year. So it's good to, you know, start getting into that mindset, start getting into, you know, that, um, that thought pattern of, you know, taking steps to improving on different aspects of your life. So I promise I would show off <laughs> what I got for Christmas. And <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago, I had told Katie, I'm like, if you haven't, um, you know, done Christmas shopping for me yet, or if you still need ideas, uh, I could use things for around the house. Um, uh, as you know, I will be starting from zero once I move out of here, meaning that I have absolutely nothing except the few items that I've picked up already. Um, so it was pretty much fair game. <laughs> and she did not disappoint. You know, Katie is awesome at you know, really thinking things ahead and, um, you know, coming up with uh, uh, gifts that you would like and enjoy and use, which is fantastic. And so, Katie got me, she knows that I am a coffee junkie, she got me this cold brew coffee maker which I'm super excited, I've never had one. Normally what I do is I'll take my leftover coffee, put it into a pitcher, throw it in the fridge, and use that for iced coffee. So now I can actually brew my own. And um, with that, she got a couple of the Starbucks cold brew pitcher packs. So I can't wait to give that a try, that's super exciting. Especially in the summer months, it's nice to have a cool cup of coffee in the middle of the afternoon just to kind of perk yourself up and ready to go. And in addition to that, going on the coffee uh, theme, she got me a coffee and spice grinder, which is very cool. Um, there is nothing, nothing better than fresh ground coffee. It just smells up the house and the flavors are so much richer, especially if you use a French press, which I don't have right now, but I will probably uh, invest in one of those later on. I've had them before, love them, they're fantastic. It's just in the morning, I want to, you know, just throw it in the pot and have it do it for me. But on those special occasions, especially on weekends, it's nice just to, you know, press your own coffee. You get a lot of the oils and the uh, richness of the coffee out that way. And she got me some whole bean coffees to go with the, um, the grinder. Super exciting. She also got me my very first set of flatware. 
super stoked. This is really cute. Uh, it would be good for all occasions, you know. It's a 20 piece set, so that is super exciting. I will have something to eat with, which is nice. Don't have any plates yet, <laughs> but those will come. Now, each year, our family draws a name around Thanksgiving time. And you know, um, each of the siblings and their um, spouses, you know, kind of go in and, and pick one name so that we don't have to shop for everyone or feel obligated to shop for everyone. And this year, Brian, Katie's husband, picked my name. And he did awesome. Now, I have never been much of a handyman, and so it's never really been on the forefront of my mind to pick up tools or things like that. And he did it for me. So he got me a hammer, some pliers, some needle nose pliers, Phillips and flathead screwdriver, and this really awesome 51 piece socket set. Super exciting. Um, you know, I've never had personal tools before, so we're starting off on the right foot. At least if something simple breaks around the place that I get, I'll be covered. I'll be able to do it. And I'll be able to hang pictures. <laughs> or use it on an intruder. So, ugh. next off, in our stockings, you know, Katie fills up the stockings. Um, I got some measuring cups, which are always good. Measuring spoons, which are great. Um, I got a little uh, peeler, awesome. A pizza cutter. You know, this thing's gonna come in handy, right? <laughs> Even though I am, you know, watching, you know, what I eat, um, and you know, going in a healthier mindset, you can't beat a frozen pizza once in a while, especially if you're just like, ugh, screw it. I just want to toss something in the oven and, and you know, have it ready. Let's do it. So super stoked about that. And she got me a bunch of these little um, uh, Rubbermaid uh, containers and lids, which is awesome. This is really durable plastic. It's not that cheap crap that, you know, you'll pick up at the dollar store. This is great. Um, so that is awesome. Super stoked about that. So my friends, that was Christmas. Um, right now, Katie and Brian and Callie are out and about. Uh, they weren't home when I got back. And I think what they're doing is they are... Um, what the heck am I thinking of? Picking up supplies to work on Callie's bedroom. You know, they've got to spackle, they've got a mole, uh, uh, mud, uh, places in the wall, and they've got to paint. So they're not going to be doing it all, to, pardon me, all today, but, um, you know, I will probably be pitching in and helping them um, do that in addition to the work that I want to do. So that is that. And, as promised, <laughs> here is Faith opening presents. I do you need to take a break? Wait. Okay, honey. She's not even involved in the process. Can I hope you can break can it a little hurt Mommy, can you get Luna, please? She's behind you. <laughs> Callie. Oh, she actually opened it. That's okay. what I mean. <laughs>